Hi there. Welcome back to our video series of building recommendation systems with TensorFlow. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In our last video, we introduced the TensorFlow Recommenders, a powerful and elegant library for building recommenders to you. And we demoed how to build a two-tower retrieval system using TFRS. In this video, we'll be discussing how to build a ranking model with TensorFlow Recommenders. You may recall that in our very first episode, we highlighted that modern recommenders usually have multiple components to do retrieval ranking and post-ranking. In our last video, we demonstrated building a two-tower retrieval model. Now is a good time to learn how to build a ranking model using TensorFlow recommenders so that we can filter thousands of candidate items down to hundreds at the ranking stage. We start off by preparing the dataset as we did for the retrieval stage using TensorFlow Datasets API. But unlike in the retrieval stage, we are going to keep the movie ratings at this time. As you can see here in the map function, the ratings are considered explicit feedback, since we can tell roughly how much the users like the movies based on the rating numbers. Next, we shuffle the dataset and split it into training and test datasets. Lastly, we gather a vocabulary for the movie titles and user IDs. This is exactly the same as we did for our retrieval model last time. After preparing the dataset, we are going to implement the actual model. We first create a ranking model class as a subclass of tf.keras.model. In the init method, we start by creating the user embeddings this is the same as we did in the last video for our retrieval model. We're doing the same for the movie embeddings as well. Next, we define a ratings model using a few dense layers to produce the predicted ratings. This is pretty straightforward. Ranking models do not face the same efficiency constraints as retrieval models do. So we have a little bit more freedom in our choice of architectures. Here, we're using a deeper model for ranking. Now in the call method, we concatenate the user and movie embeddings into a single vector and pass that vector through the ratings model we just built in the previous slide to get the prediction. Overall, our ranking model takes in a user ID and a movie title and outputs a predicted rating. As you can see here, using our on-trend model, user 42 is predicted to give one flew over the cuckoo's nest, a rating of 0 0.037. We can now put them together into a model, movie lens model. TFRS exposes a base model class, tfrs.models.model, which streamlines building models. All we need to do is to set up the components in the init method and implement the compute loss method taking in the raw features and returning a loss value. In the init method, we make use of the tfrs.tasks.ranking task object, which is a convenience wrapper that bundles together the loss function and metric computation. And we use the mean squared error keras loss in order to predict the ratings. Now we can compile and train the model using the fit method. You can see that the loss is falling and the RMSE metric is improving. You can also evaluate the model after training is down, but uh, I'm going to skip that part since you are already familiar with Keras API. Finally, let's take five movies from the test sets and see how user number 42 would rank them. Here we get the predicted ratings for those five movies and then we sort them in descending order. In practice, you would be sorting the candidates generated from the retrieval stage, but you get the idea. So this is it, our end-to-end -end workflow for building a ranking system. Structurally, it is very similar to our retrieval model, but with some components unique to ranking. Just to summarize, today we covered how to build a ranking model using TensorFlow recommenders. This gives us a decent start towards building a ranking system. But of course, it takes a lot more effort to build a practical ranking system. In the next few episodes, we'll be discussing how we can improve what we have built with side features and multitask learning. Stay tuned. See you next time.